What's up, YouTube? You guys know what channel you're watching. It's the Infinite Bassin. Well, you guys know I've had this boat now for... It's been about two and a half years or so now. And I have to say that in those two and a half years, the one thing that has bugged me about this setup from day one is this. So, not pretty. Not as bad as it can be because I just recently sprayed some uh, some lubricant on there to uh, get it to stop creaking and popping going down the road. And it's kind of a tight turn, you know, getting in and out of the garage here. So it makes it sound a little bit worse than it is. But you guys hear it, you know, nitro boats don't make the best trailers and they make a lot of noise. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that with this Dexter Easy Flex kit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing fully supported on the frame and get the axles off the ground. And we are going to be swapping out this equalizer and these brackets and stuff for wet bolts and that uh, Easy Flex stabilizer, which its claim to fame is that supposedly it reduces the wear and tear on your, your vehicle, your trailer, the contents of the trailer by 80 percent so seems to me like a good number so uh, why not give it a shot everybody seems to love it it swaps the regular bolts out for wet bolts so we'll be able to lube them with grease after this and hopefully that popping you guys just heard will be gone all right so before we start popping wheels off and stuff we're gonna go through this kit here and see if all the pieces are in it and then we're going to do a step that a lot of people probably don't do, but probably should do for kits like these. We are going to test out those wet bolts before we install them, just to make sure all of them work. First, let's see what's in this kit. Packaged up pretty good. This thing is surprisingly heavy. That box anymore. All right, this is how they come. Hear the stuff jiggling in there. All right, so we got this 652 kit, which is the 6,000 pound kit with the 33 inch axle spacing. So what it's talking about to figure out which kit you need, because they make a uh, they make a 6,000 pound kit and an 8,000 pound kit. To determine whether which kit you need, you will measure from the center of each axle to the and then uh, based on whether it's 33 inches or I think it's 35 or 36 inches, don't quote me on that, uh, will determine whether you need the 8,000 pound kit. So if you've got the 33 inch spacing, which is what I have here, you'll get the 6,000 pound kit. And if you have the, I think it's 35 or 36 inch spacing, you will need the 38 inch kit. Oh, got a phone call, be right back. Back, so let's... Uh... Get this thing opened. I know some of the things I watched said the packaging is not that great. Which, I mean, you know, it's just all tossed in here. There we go. Those lubable fittings there. Hopefully none of these are broke. So far, so good. Boom, boom, boom. And all the side plates. Drag it apart. Those are the other bushings. And these are the equalizers. Okay. 
Alright, here we are. So they look gold, bronze, whatever you want to call them. This is supposed to be an anti-corrosion coating that's on them. And then you got this giant rubber bushing here. So I'll show you guys once uh, I get the wheels off. But you can see that's where that's going to go. Right like so. Boom, boom, boom. So let's get this let's get this thing in the air and uh, start taking these wheels off. Like I said, we're gonna test these things out first before we get it all together and find out that one of them may or may not work. That one's good. Tight. That one's good. Oh, flipped the wrong way. That one's good. That one's good. Yep, yep. Probably has to be wearing gloves, but whatever. Yep. Good. And that one. That one felt a little weird. But it works. And then the individuals. That took a little bit more pressure to get it in there, but it went. Oh. Stuff's getting slippery. Yep, good. And in the end, this grease that we're putting on here will also help these bolts go in when we go to install them. Good. And good. All right, so all of them work. So all the parts are all lubed up and working. Got all of our stuff laid out here. Even comes with some anti-seize. But with all of that, there was not a single shred of directions in this box. We've got the trailer off the ground. It's sitting on the frame. And then uh, we're getting ready to pull the wheels off here and then start Taking this thing apart. Ah! All right, guys, so we separated the parts between the two sides. Everything's there. We checked the loop points and the, the wet bolts and made sure they were working they are working just fine this is going to be a pretty simple install we'll get a jack under here to support the axle because you don't want to start disconnecting stuff to this else this thing will come completely off um but pretty simple for the bolt that goes through the equalizer which goes through right here you know one nut one bolt you're going to need what size is that seven eighths and a 13 sixteenths uh socket to fit the bolt that goes to the equalizer and then for the nuts and bolts to go through this you are going to need a 11 sixteenths to fit on the nuts that go on the back side of those um i'm probably just going to hand work these in you know i'm not going to use the air impact to put these on that would be kind of ridiculous i think 
But uh, we'll snug them up and then uh, torque these things down to wherever they're supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to have to look up the manual since Dexter didn't include one in the box uh, for torque specs and stuff of that nature. But, uh, you know, easily found online. No big deal. But uh, all in all, easy kit. So uh, let's get to work and hope this thing quiets down this trailer. I mean, look at... Let me set this down so you guys can get an idea how much this thing moves. So there is a lot of play in these, and that's where you're getting that creaking and popping whenever you turn. And this is what we're looking to eliminate. We don't want that anymore. So hopefully with this kit, uh, it seems like the tolerances on this one are a little bit tighter than what's on here now. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. No more cracking and popping after this. I pretty much went ahead and loosened up all the bolts and nuts already so you guys didn't have to sit through all of that. Excuse the ragamuffins or crotch goblins, whatever you want to call them out there. But uh, yeah, let's get back to this thing. All right. Do work, Justin. So... Hand me one of them shackles whenever you get it off. So, as y'all can see, this boat is, uh, I bought it brand new from Showroom Floor, um, July, the end of July of 2019. It was like July 25th, something like that. And you can see that this hole is already oblong. So it's not completely circle like it should be. And let's see if those just come right out. Yep. These are the plastic bushings that go in there. And you can see that that one's worn pretty much all the way through. That's not doing a whole lot of nothing right there. With this kit, these brass bushings are what's going to go and replace it. Let's see. Yep, these things just slide right on out. Oh, yeah, look at that. That one is completely shut. This boat was brand new two years ago so well overdue for this should have done this a while ago but eh. wow, that one looks even worse all right this is the factory equalizer that came and you can already see that the the plastic bushings already on its squeaking its way out of this one so these are the difference and they make so some of these i've noticed that uh in some of the boats that these guys have been using different kits and everybody has different equalizer arms like in the nitro boats there's a taller one than this which may uh when you install it drop your uh rod height on your wheels so you'll have to raise your fenders up this one's pretty much spot on you know a little bit different just a yeah pretty much spot on with that kit so we shouldn't have any drop in ride high so we shouldn't have to raise the fenders at all so just be mindful of that when you're ordering these kits there is a taller equalizer that they used in some of the older models this is a 2019 uh nitro z19 so yeah let's get these things in uh justin's got the new bolt there So it's gonna take a so it's gonna take a little bit. Whenever you take these bolts out, these brackets here, they they open up a little bit. So it's gonna take a little bit of bending and coercion to get those new bolts back in. So and if you look, the new bushings are already in these ones, so you don't have to worry about adding these new bushings in. So an easy way to put these brass bushings in is to take the old bolt that came out of the, the from the stock suspension and use that as a way to beat the new bushings in get the old debris out first yep make sure you clean the old bushings out like you've seen this already pieced out so maybe some gunk in there so just go on and give it a couple swacks and they slide right in just like that 
Boom, boom. Eat on the front and the back. All right, and you guys have already seen that I lubed up the the wet bolts in this one already, so those just slid right in. And tap it on the back there. Just the back shackle, putting that on, and then we got the six nuts. Let me put some anti seize on those. Oh, where to go? So, you know, the anti seize came with the kit, so we're gonna go throw that on real quick. This man just got off work, came straight here to help me do this. Good having friends, right? Oh, that one didn't. <coughs> Gotta put some anti-seize on that one. All right, you guys know I set the, the jack stand under there just so the axle has something to rest on. You gotta pop that. You know, we're gonna have to move that jack stand so we can get that bushing out. Uh, you don't slide enough. There we go. Here, I'll hold it. Yeah, you usually can get them slide enough. Take a look at that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yep, that one wasn't terrible, but you are see there's a hole right there. So these little nylon bushings that they had in there, these things are shot in this trailer, and this boat's only two two years old. socket to put over it. So a trick you guys What's up, man? could use, take a socket, put it over the end like that so you don't damage yeah, it. Yeah, you. And then hammer that thing in so you can get those things seated. <laughs> GoPro suck at recording in the dark. But like I was saying when I was on the outside there, these brackets that your equalizer and your front springs mount to, once you take the nut off the back of them, they want to open up. So getting the new bolt through there could be a pain. So one of the things you can do is take a C-clamp and run that C-clamp down. You could do this prior to you taking the nut and bolt off so it stays in its position, or you could do it afterwards like I did. And just put a C-clamp on there, bend them back down so the nut slide, the bolt slides right back through, and it's easy to put the nut back on. So all we got to do now is just tighten that thing back up. You can go ahead and take it off, Justin. Also, so you can suck the bolt for the swedge lock on them. That's right. In. All right. And now all we just do is put some wrenches on this and tighten this baby up like it's supposed to be. And you can't forget while you're doing this maintenance to go ahead and take a swig of beer. You know, you don't wanna get dehydrated out here working, so uh, make sure you drink. Probably should have showed you guys before. You know, I'll just show you on the old boat. So you got these swages on the bottom right there. I'm gonna use that air impact to uh, suck that guy in there. So go ahead and hit it. One of the things you want to check once you start tightening these things down is that you're not over tightening them. Because once you over tighten them, they won't move. You'll lock them up. So whenever you go, yeah, you want these things to move freely and just like that, and not bind up nice and smooth like. And uh, before we do this, we're gonna go throw some grease in these things before we put the trailer back down on the ground. Mm 
moves like it should. You guys hear that? Exactly, no more creaking and popping, but we'll see what it's like when we get this thing on the ground. Let's shoot some lube in this thing real quick. And you just wanna do this until you start seeing lube come out of the side of the uh, shackles there, which it's coming out there. So that one's good. Right. Both sides. Right there. Ooh, that's a lot. We're going to have to wipe that up. Alright, coming out of that one. Coming out of that one. And coming out of that one. Put that one on the front, and this side will be done. All we'll have to do is once we start getting weight on this thing is uh, flip these shackles over how they are. They're, they're flipped right now, so you want them to be a W shaped once you get them fully installed. This side's all done and lubed up. Just gonna get it back on the ground, and once we do that, we'll flip these, flip those over. And then uh, take this thing out for a drive. Make sure it uh, does what it's supposed to do. We're going to go ahead and throw the other side up. Swap all that stuff. It's a little darker on that side, so we're not going to record that side since you've already watched us do it. But it's the same exact operation on this side as it is on that side. So exact same process. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have already flipped these ones. This is uh, how you want to do it with there being no weight on the trailer. You know, it was just as simple as putting the jack under one of the axles and just slowly lifting up and make sure they roll the right way. We're going to throw the wheels on it, set it down on the ground on this side, and then be able to uh, keep these in that W shape like you want and then go do the other side and throw the wheels on it, and then we will be done. She is all installed, greased up, bolted back up, ready to go. We are just going to do exactly what I did in the beginning of the video and roll forward, hook it up to the truck, roll forward, back it up, see if it improved the squeak. I know the bunks are super squeaky on this thing too, so maybe we fixed part of the problem, maybe we didn't. Let's see if it was worth the time and effort. And uh, yeah. Well, we haven't fully ran it down the road yet, but you guys heard it. I mean, it was definitely a lot better than it was uh, prior to this install. Uh, when we, I'll pull it out tomorrow and maybe add to the end of this video to see once I run it on the road and get everything set in. But uh, all in all, it seems like a good install. <sighs> we'll see if it was worth it. Didn't have to raise the fenders. I feel like it gave me a tiny bit more clearance than what I had before, but uh, yeah. Install was easy. All the parts fit nice and smooth. Not much to complain about, but as you can see, whether the kit was worth it or not to stop the squeaking, look at these bushings. These were the nylon bushings that came out of this thing. This boat's two years old. These things were completely shot. So whether it needed the kit or not, it needed the kit. Um, yep, if you look at the shackles here, that shackle, that's supposed to be a circle. That one's all nice and walled out. This one, 
nice and wall it out. Some of these weren't bad. Like, you know, these are still mostly circle on this one. And you see it's got pieces, that plastic bushing working its way out, melting. The bolts here, look at that. That metal's been wearing away. It's nice and grooved out right there. Nice and grooved out right there. And a lot of the bolts look like that. Where those shackles were sitting, nice and grooved out on both ends. So, all in all, something needed to be done. Whether it was this kit or another kit, I think once these get set in, um, it'll help. Because, I mean, look at this. I mean, looking at these, something definitely needed to be done because this is the type of stuff that will leave you stranded on the road when these parts break. And then you'll be calling for a tow truck. So, preventative maintenance is key. Um, if you guys haven't looked or haven't done it, you guys should take a look at your trailers and make sure that, you know, that's one of the most important things with us taking these, you know, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour trips away from home. You don't want to be stuck on the side of the road. So do your maintenance, check your hubs, check your axles, check all your bushings and bearings and stuff and uh, change them before they get that bad.